Well, aluminum is big business in the greater Lafayette region. Arconic is at the forefront of manufacturing aluminum lithium alloys to make aircrafts more efficient and lighter as well. Meantime, Nanshan America Advanced Aluminum Technologies opened for business in 2012. The state-of-the-art facility specializes in aluminum casting and extrusion and can cast up to 400 million pounds annually. Well, three years ago, the much-hyped $100 million GE Aviation Lafayette engine facility started pumping out LEAP jet engines, which are used in commercial aircraft. Then uh, plant, uh, the plant is in growth mode with plans to increase the headcount to 200 by the end of the year and eventually produce some 30 engines per week. The man charged with uh, meeting those ambitious goals is the new plant leader, Renato Vidal, who's been on the job for one month now. And Renato, uh, we're pleased to have you join us uh, here uh, at uh, Purdue University for a special program. Thank you, Gary. Welcome to Indiana, too. Thank you. Uh, you Thank come you. directly uh, from a GE operation uh, in South America. Yes, yes. I, I came from the South America operations from G Aviation for the maintenance side. I have been with G for 20 years now, so it's a, it's a huge moment for, for us uh, in the way that we were ramping up the LEAP and the Lafayette plant is, is all about LEAP, so yeah. we, are, we are in the middle of all these challenges. Talk, talk about these LEAP engines. People in the aviation business uh, know it very well, but for those who might not be familiar, what's special about these LEAP engines? The technology behind this, so GE has been working on this technology in other engine models, like the GNX uh, for the 787, and now we, we have been applied this on the, with our partners from Safran on the product for the, the Boeing 737s, for their Airbus 300, 320. So this is a very unique uh, re-engineering uh, structure that we have for this product, for these aircrafts. And this is the most sell, selling product that mm -hmm. GE ever had. And that's, that's, that's the ramp up that we are going through right now. Is basically on the fact that we have a technology applied to this engine that will allow less fuel consumption, 15% mm -hmm. less fuel consumption. and. Uh, the, the noise reduction as well is great, so product is, is on the right way for the first uh, operations that we, we have been observing, so yeah. that's, that's huge. Uh, you've been on the job now for about a month. Yes. Uh, your initial impressions of the Lafayette plant? State of the art. The plant is, in fact, I, I, I knew the plant from, from before, since we have started. I knew the, the previous plant leader from, from other, uh, let's say, projects together with GE. And I know that he, he and the team, they, they develop everything that we ever dream for a, a aviation facility. And so we have been using technology to increase not only our capacity, but to reduce uh, mistakes, to improve the productivity of the plant itself using uh, like digital inspection technologies and uh, barcode uh, processes for all the materials coming in and going through the, through the site and all, all the uh, ultrasonic inspections as well. So everything that we have developed uh, with the, within the aviation technologies, we have been applying to this plant. You're in hiring mode too. Talk about your hiring plans and how you expect to increase production as well as hiring. Yes, we, we right now we are with the leap challenging us to ramp up till 2020 when we will be producing like close to more, in fact more than 2,000 engines a year. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lafayette plant will be responsible for half of it mm -hmm. and the producing half of it within the next years. And we are, we are hiring for, for this rate. Our plan is to achieve by the end of 2019 close to 200 people, more 50 to 60 people than we have today. A lot of attention has been paid to the nonstop flight between Indianapolis and Paris for consumers, but there's a big business impact to GE Aviation from that nonstop flight. Yes, that's uh, we, we have worked together with all the government and everything that came up with this flight was our capacity to send parts and receive mm -hmm. parts directly from our partners in, in Paris, Safran. Uh, we send the main portion of the engines that go to Airbus we sent through this flight to Indianapolis, and uh, this has been huge. Anything that we do like that, GE didn't select Indiana uh, without any other reason, but was really for the willingness to support the companies and create this environment like the flight that was great for us. Very good, Renato Vidal, the plant leader at GE Aviation here in Lafayette. Thanks for joining us again, Thank welcome you. to Indiana. Thank you, Gary.